Hello and welcome back to our Starfield Let's Play Poorly. So I have switched to 1440, which means that I'm a little bit sloppy in terms of my frame rates when I'm in motion. So sorry for making you vomit there, but I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments. We're going to go with high. I think that'll work. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, shit. What am I supposed to do? Oh, talk to Sergeant Yumi. Uh... Alright, I've done that one, right? Is that... Is that telling me I've done? Done? Completed? Yes. Okay, all... May... Ah, I got it. Alright. So we're gonna... Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Where... Where's Sergeant... It told me something. Alright, okay. Alright, you... You're not helping. Let's go. Is it over there? I don't know. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, so this is the uh, first week, well, first episode, technically it's the second, uh, where I'm going to be playing in 1440 uh, for all of my games if I can with the goal of making people happy. <laughs> uh, which is to say that some folks have asked um, for me to do that because they like having the higher quality, and that's, yeah, let's see if we can pull that off. I've already recorded an X4 episode with that way, um, but this is the f first one of the week, of the week where I start doing that, that'll, that'll show up. No, actually, that's not true. It's uh, the second. It is, in fact, the second. Carrier Command 2 will be the first, but I won't have mentioned it because I forgot. Uh, all right, let's go over here. Can I knock these over? I can! Wow. All right. Someone commented in the um, last comment of the last episode that I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna end up like doing microtransactions in this game and stuff like they do in Fallout 4. Apparently, no, I'm not. Uh, I've never bought a microtransaction in my life. I have no temptation to do so now. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. Okay. Uh, job. Tell me about it. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw the sound on site. Let's say that. Gotta admit, I was against the sign at first. Felt cheesy, you know. Like we're hiring a dishwasher or one of those dancing clowns. I want a dancing yeah. clown. It's my job. Argue with effectiveness. It's my whole vibe. If nothing else, New Atlantis security is just that. Effective. When we're fully staffed, that is. Okay. But we're not. Salty. Long story. And need some help. But we're not a long story. and need some help. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have any security experience? Um, I'm gonna say... Oh, dear. Do I lie? Do Oh, dear. Uh, this is not gonna work, is it, if I try to lie? Or do I just say I had a run-in with the Crimson Fleet? I'm gonna just... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Yep, I agree. Well, I think I've heard all I need. That, that was quick. This assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop, and they need UC security to handle it. Ah! Whoopsies. Sorry, that was an accidental right click. Uh, all right, what's MAST? You know, MAST. Uh, the Military, Administrative, and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? I really should have given you a more thorough interview. Yeah, well, that's your problem. I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to look at this thing. It looks like a little like an Amazon device or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you mentioned Aegis. What are they? 
Who are they? Aegis, they're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. While we're separate departments, there are times we need to rely on each other, so it's important to keep a good working relationship. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss us some intel when an investigation stalled. Tit for tat. You know how it works. Uh, all right, why am I bringing this package here and not Aegis? You know, the thing that annoys me about this is that it's making me look at his throat, right? I should be looking at his face. All right. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. As for why? Can ask ages. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. You are saying? Let me know if you have any questions. I do not, except I want that thing. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I guess I go outside. Oh, you're in the way again. Check in on Kelton later. Oh, that's that guy with the tree thing. All right, let's do this, Vasco. Vasco da Gama. Oh, you're up there. Okay. Wait a minute. Now you're down there. Where are you? How do I find you? Oh, maybe no. That impressive building is mass. Oh, okay. It's military, administrative, and scientific triumvirate. It stands as a symbol of the United Colonies. Hey, buddy. Uh, can I get? Can I go down? Can Welcome I? Uh, all right. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. I do. Uh, Only those on official United Colonies business oh. can access the building. I'm looking for work, I guess. Most of Mast's employees have extensive training in their no. specific areas okay. of expertise. Don't be mean. But if you're interested in joining the UC, Commander Tuala of the Vanguard is just on the far side of the room. The Vanguard's open to anyone who can fly. Okay, I'll put a pin in that. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis. A bloodless little tree. Okay. There you are. How do I? How do I? Oh, around here. Okay. Complicated. I hope you're not here to report something. If you are, it means you've seen far too much. Oh, I don't like you already. I'm gonna steal some of your stuff. No, I'm not. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. Uh, your name is Plato. <laughs> no. My parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins Aegis gets to choose a pseudonym, pending approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. Okay, I was going to say. I suppose none of us are. All right, let's pick something up. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. Taller than I expected. That's probably why I'm looking at your throat. Thanks, I guess. Wait, I'm not sure how you would know that, actually. Statistical average, psychological uh, tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. Yep. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. Well, I was in looking at case, your throat. Let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. Okay. Got it. I, I'm not going to ask questions. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. 
Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi, and the job's done. Okay. What's in what's in the what's in the pack? He's not gonna tell me, but I'm gonna ask anyway. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this? Your first day on the job? Ha <laughs> ha! Funny, funny. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just giving you a hard time. I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Good luck with the mission. One thing that Bethesda does well is it's got got good voice uh, actors for, for the, like I like it. That's uh. Hey, how did you? Are you, wait, is that Vasco? Yes, it is. How did you? Did you even fit in there? How did you even? I don't know. What is this? New Atlas information. Okay. Ooh. Oh gosh, I could learn a whole lot of stuff. Okay. Welcome. Uh, maybe another time. Ooh, there it is. It's hiding under here. All right, let's get back to Sergeant Yumi. How's the investigation? Hey. Questions? Go ahead and ask. I've got your package. Nicely done. It's really hard to find good help these days. That being said, my luck seems to be turning around. Yeah. We've gotten a lot of new personnel as of late, not just you. Who knew all I had to do was put up a sign? Uh, glad it worked out. Just, but just give me my credits, yeah. Well, we're going to have to find. Oh. get you in the system. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm kidding. Everybody's joking with me today. I should have seen your face when I said it. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. Yay! Two thousand credits. Do something that's probably going to get me killed. Ooh, I can level up. Really, really like this music. Uh, okay, so... I have one point. Science. Tech. Combat. Social. And physical. We want to do some social stuff? Gastronomy. It's crafting food. Persuasion. Extra credit. Ooh. That's probably something I should have, right? Boxing, fitness, stealth, weightlifting, and wellness. Yeah, let's go with some persuasion here. Alright, oh, actually, do we have another... Okay, so I could do this, or I could do this, check in on Kelton later. I'm gonna check on him later. Back to the grind. Do we want to just continue on? Yeah, let's continue on with our mission here. With our regular mission. Do we get to see it? Whatever's landing? No. Good for you. Oh, sorry. Oh god, how do I how do I put that away? Nope, that's not it. Um I don't want to get in trouble. Ah, 
R key. Do I hold it? Yes. There we go. All right. Let's get let's get to where we're going. Oh, sounds like another mission. Door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. Wait, where are you? Be waiting for us inside. Oh, there you are. All right. Ah. Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. What if I don't want to be? We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Um. Um. I'll say pirate attack. That would be nice. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. I made exactly one statement. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. This guy looks but like he just pissed happen. himself. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Uh. Anything? Um. Um. Basically, it was a disco. Uh, it was a disco that killed me. And there's lots of discos. Uh, let's see. Um, ooh, look, that's that. We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're okay. Not sure yet. So, if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you. Bright lights, music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience. With less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But I'm in doubt. You expect us to believe in fairness. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. I feel like I'm about to get fried by sticking my finger in an outlet. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I'm just a trucker, but, um... I need some time to clear my head, do I? How much do I how do you know about the artifacts? Uh, what's expected? Well, I want to know about the artifacts, I guess. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, 
what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, what does it mean being in Constellation? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. It's interesting that they say, you know, we've settled the stars. If, if, if they're living in a universe where the stars have been settled, you're unlikely to really comment that way. It just seems odd. I mean, I guess it would be like saying, just having a conversation, you know, we've settled the entire planet Earth. Um, like, how is that relevant? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess it is in this context a bit, but it's always fine. I always find it funny because it's kind of a way for a storyteller to give you context, but you're but it's making the character say something unnatural in order to present it. Um, uh, it's a lot of exp expositional uh, stuff happens with uh, like that in movies and so on. Uh, where they're just kind of telling you stuff that honestly they would not say in in that context. This was not so bad, but okay, I'm in. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. Yay! In addition to credits. Why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Ooh. You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Mm -hmm. ah, I love this music. Okay, I've got a key. Uh, I can talk to her. I can say hi to him, but he's not. I don't think he's my buddy anymore. Oh, is he? Oh, I guess he is. All right, I guess he still is. Well, we got we to level up. What are we doing? Astrodynamics, grab jump range, inorganic resources, med pack. Ooh, med packs. That might be handy. I'm going to go with that. I'm going with the things that are most likely to get me killed if I don't have them. All right, so what are my options? I can talk to Sarah or. Noel, or Noel, which is it? Uh, the bartender, Commander Tuala, and then Kelton. Oh, okay, apply for I, this one's talk to Sarah. Okay, well, let's talk to to this whoever this is, Noel or Noel. I've seen them. Yeah, it's Noel. Okay. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the I full time. I don't know what that means. Why are you talking to me like I know what that means? That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. Yeah. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Um, let's see, what do we got? What do you think my vision was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. I gotta say, <laughs> the writers of this game probably were super annoyed when uh, they saw the Halo uh, TV show. <laughs> I have no doubt that this game was in production a lot earlier than that was. Um, yeah, it's just funny. All right, it wasn't coming from me. I'm telling you that right now. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. Okay. We're all in this together now, right? All right, so let's uh, let's go. I wonder about other types of exploration work. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. 
a type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, mm. like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Okay. Now, I'm aware that this game isn't really an open world game in the way that, say, Elite Dangerous is, but that's interesting that they have this that as a as a feature where you can kind of explore things. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking I'm talking to the audience. Just hang on. Um it's, it's so this is obviously much more story driven, which I like. I, like I mentioned in the first episode, I'm really excited about playing a story driven space game because I haven't really done that in a while. Um but yeah, okay, so it might be a nice mix. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library. Yep. My wife and I have some Walter's quite proud of the collection, Apparently, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a My moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. Stop talking. You dude, you're well, talking about your wife. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Had this place built decades. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Thank you. Too bad I can't steal the paintings. Kind of looked like Mark Hamill there for a second. I really wish there were a slow walking option. Maybe there is and I just haven't found it yet. This is super annoying. Can I steal books? No. Ooh. Can I steal a globe? I can. But I'm not gonna. Oh, oh, oh. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. All right. Reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. There's some conversation happening somewhere else that I can't hear, but the subtitles want me to see. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Okay. Let's give it a go. So, I okay, this is my side. Wait, something about what? Common room and then Mateo, what? Okay, so this is mine. Where's Mateo? Ooh, pretty. Is this supposed to be? I don't under. I don't understand the layout you're describing there, lady. All right, let's let's close the door. Cocktail mixer, ice bucket. God, Bethesda, man. There's no reason for any of this, I'm sure, but it's funny that. Ooh, Chronomark watch case. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I mean, I guess I did, but like, why? Ooh, tissues. Um, I can get the old white Opie vase, but I I can't get the towels. So I guess there's no shower for me. And there's a bed. I could sleep. Do I need to sleep? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here as I hang out in my new room. Still completely dressed from head to toe in space gear. Seems awkward. But yeah, when we come back, we will continue exploring and maybe uh, do some more missions in this town. See what we got coming to us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.